Welcome to my life. This film, it's got great humor, intelligence, and really original characters. That's Dragon's Breath. We're investigating some of those metaphors of life and death, right and wrong. What if I told you that God and the devil made a wager for the souls of all mankind? I tell you to stay in your meds. It's about morality and free will, supported by the supernatural world. You see them. They see you. And then action that's very exciting and fun. about the responsibility for the choices one makes. Into the light I come in. It's fantastical, but it's realistic. Heaven and hell are right here. We're smack in the middle. You never really know where it's going to lead you. My name's John. Constantine is based on the comic Hellblazer, but one of the things that I wanted to do with this movie was really try and set it in a reality. It's based on a comic book, but I did not want it to feel like a comic book movie. What was important was to pull forward the character story and to really create a cohesive mythology of heaven and hell existing alongside of us. John Constantine, when he was 15, took his own life in despair. He had the ability to, or has the ability to see what we call in the film uh, half-breeds, which are these kind of demons wrapped in human skin. And it kind of disturbed him. He kind of went to a place where he felt trapped and took his own life. And he went to hell for two minutes. So what's happened is now the older Constantine has been diagnosed with a kind of terminal lung cancer. So he's trapped to go to, uh, to hell. I'm a suicide angel. When I die, the rules say I've got just one place to go. He knows he's going to hell, and he's doing everything he can to save his ass. So what he's doing, he's trying to exercise demons, send demons back to hell, and he, in a way, thinks he's sort of building up brownie points with God. This is Constantine. John Constantine. Asshole. We've always called him the Dirty Harry of the Occult. I mean, look, he's been to hell and back. He's seen it all, and he's world-weary. Smile pretty, you big prick. John Constantine's got, you know, strong morality, but his uh, ethics are a little blurry. You're trying to buy your way into heaven. What would you do if you were sentenced to a prison where half the inmates were put there by you? And on his kind of search for redemption, he uncovers a plot that there's this kind of force coming that wants to make a hell on Earth. Your own business exorcist. Ah! Constantine is not your typical hero. He is struggling internally with what's the definition of good and bad. And where does he fit into it? Hold the door. You're going down. Not if I can help it. John Constantine, if he has nothing else, he has a really fantastic sense of humor. It may be a dark one, but he has a great sense of humor. At least it's nice enough. I love the character. He's really fun to play. It's it's great to be angry and, you know, disappointed and funny. Keanu was really helpful in the, the final forming of the character because he had a really good take on him. And there are certain lines in the movie which were so constant. They just sort of emerged from him. It was wonderful. I know the circles you travel in, the occult, the exorcisms. I thought that you could at least point me in the right direction. Yeah, okay, sure. Rachel Weiss is playing this detective who comes to John because her sister jumped off the roof of a clinic. And, uh, Angela, Rachel's character, doesn't believe that, that she committed suicide. Yeah, what kind of mental patient kills herself? That's just crazy. I feel like someone's got to her and brainwashed her some kind of like occult weird society and i come across this guy john constantine i go and talk to him and he's completely unhelpful and very rude my sister was a devout catholic that means if she'd taken her own her life, soul she... would go straight to hell where she'd be ripped apart over and over for all eternity i just think he's psycho <laughs> After this first meeting, John notices some kind of demons kind of going after this woman. 